I want to build a house in The Sims, but every room is a different emotion. There's a wide variety of emotions that your Sims can experience in the game, and some items actually can influence your Sims to feel a certain way. I believe this challenge was suggested to me in a comment, so thank you so much for that. I have our shell of a house here actually kind of already done up, and our first room is going to be inspired. So I've actually gone through and pulled out every item with inspiring gameplay effects, and because we have the fridge and this stove, I think let's start with the kitchen. And the color for the inspired emotion is like a light blue like this, so I'm wondering if we could either do this paint or maybe like a tile of sorts. And there actually literally is this kitchen sink that is tagged as inspiring decor, so I feel like this was a good choice for the kitchen. I'm just wondering if I'm gonna keep these cabinets or not. I'm not so sure about the swatches. This is a bit of a like strange layout with the windows. Why are these knives tagged as inspiring? Inspiring to do what? If I take the cabinets all the way across, they're gonna run into the window, which I mean, actually doesn't look that bad, but I think maybe a touch of open shelving could be a better idea here, especially because we do have some kind of random pieces of inspiring decor. I was about to create like a whole storyline of maybe they're a writer, which is why they have the typewriter, they have the quill pen, but I realized that might only make sense with the inspiring decor. Oh my God, dude, chill. I think I should take this light and size it down so it looks like maybe it's just a really tall glass, right? Maybe they're getting ready to serve their guests the very green drink. I'm just raising it up with my nine key after sizing it down with my bracket key. And I do have the better build by mod so I can shift click on the light and change the tone of it. Why is this toilet inspiring? Again, inspiring to do what? I'll get some of our inspiring art on the wall. And when this like still life looks like it would go in a kitchen because it has an apple so I'm actually just gonna slide it in here as if it's sitting on that shelf. And I'm thinking now I might just go in and clutter this like a normal kitchen. So this is going to be our inspiring kitchen. I tried to make it look somewhat cohesive even though we have a lot of wacky clutter going on. And for our next room, we're going to be doing flirty. So the thing is, we have three items in the game that count as romantic decor. I feel like we can't not use the bed. So I'm wondering if we can like size it down and squeeze it in the dining area here. Like maybe that's a seating cushion. Does that even make sense? And obviously flirty in the game, the color is pink. We could do this cute little table from Cottage Living because it has the flowers, it has the pink. You know what we can do? We can kind of make this a little custom closet area. So I'm gonna draw a wall here and maybe we can just take some curtains or something and put them there and then do like a spandrel to hold up the curtains. Thankfully, we do have a really cute like pink swatch we can go with for the curtains. I do not know what's going on with the lighting and why the lighting has gotten so messed up. Maybe they lost the door to the closet and so the curtains are replacing that for now. And that kind of gives more of a purpose to the to the bed being there. We have a lot of very distinct pinks in the game that don't necessarily go with each other. I might actually do this from high school years and then maybe frame it with some plants on the side. And I'm doing that because I need to add the VIP bucket somewhere and also I have this plumb bob lamp from late night in The Sims 3 so I have it in The Sims 4. I don't even know if what I just said made sense. And I'm actually going to the gallery and I'm gonna see if we have any flirty paintings because if your sim is in a flirty mood they can do a flirty painting and then that painting will inspire an emotion so i think breezy love has come in clutch here and has a lot of flirty paintings so oh can i even fit this on the lot wait this with the purple could be really nice or should we go with like the box of chocolates one and of course we need a single rose right there and i need you to stick with me here for half of a second to see if this works i'm going to take this perennials for millennials archway i'm going to size it down and just kind of like alt place it on the wall here and I'm gonna do that twice. However, with the second one, I want to see if I can use the tool mod to rotate it. Oh wait, yes, this is exactly what I'm going for. To make a little like almost wreath of roses on the wall and then I hope we have a mirror that kind of fits in. This one is almost perfect. Actually, what if we size these up and leave a space in between? That actually looks really cool and I feel like the mirror kind of matches in with our chairs. I just wanted to do something different on the wall, you know? As for a hanging light, do we have anything relatively romantic? I think maybe we should just do this one from Spa Day. And a little rug. So this is going to be our flirty, romantic inspired dining room. And for our next room, we're going to be doing focus. This actually works out perfectly because I was thinking 
of doing this for the living room anyway, because we have a couch. It may not be our favorite couch, but we do have a couch and we also have a television, which is my favorite television. I think if we lay this out correctly, we might be able to get a chess table as well because this also counts as focusing decor. I really love the shape of this couch. It actually looks very, very comfortable. The color for the focused emotion is like a blurple. I don't even know what to actually call it. Perhaps we'll go like a more muted, a more muted blurple on the wall. <laughs> Potentially we could make it work. Should I find a way to use the surgical light as the floor lamp in this one? I'm not sure if that is in the cards for us. Oh, we do have a personal stock ticker. Let's put that above the TV. Maybe you just always need to be updated on your stocks. We actually have a lot of little tiny clutter items that count as focusing decor. So I think what would be good on this little coffee table or big coffee table is the little Zen garden. On the side table, we can do that lamp. And the stationary pile is pretty cute too. Maybe we'll get that on here. And of course, we also have some wall art. And the room does look a little random, but it also to me kind of just looks like a tech bro's living space. <laughs> is it bad for those chairs to match the couch as much as they do? I feel like it kind of is. And over here by the door, I think maybe we can just get a little rug. Do we have anything else that can go on the wall? Oh yeah, we have posters. And honestly, I think that might be good. It's messy, but it's good. For our next room, we're going to be doing playful. So here is everything that is tagged as playful decor. I actually was thinking we would do this as the front and back porch, mainly because it's a lot of little things that I don't think are going to fit in other rooms. I think what we have to do is put our little stolen ATM out here on the back porch. Is that the best place for it? No, but it's not on the front porch, so people can't see it, obviously. I did not do a very large back patio here. I think the otter painting, I want to like lean it up against here. You can actually do this with the tool mod. You just place your painting where you want. Sometimes if it's next to a wall, you have to delete the wall. But then you just just rotate it so it looks like it's hanging back there and then you got it. It's leaning against something. Speaking of leaning against things, should we also have a baseball bat? Why would you leave your baseball bat right outside your door rather than like right beside your bed? I don't know, but it's just gonna have to work. Oh, and we have the statue. Maybe you love to get a good workout in, showing everyone in the neighborhood your fighting skills with the punching bag. Oh, and this necklace, is it stolen? Yeah, we should put the stolen things on the back porch. That's where the stolen things go. And literally the rest is either wall art or clutter. So I think what I might do is do like a couple little seating areas. The crate doesn't have any emotional gameplay effects, but it just feels right. Oh wait, we have more stolen things or things that maybe one desires to steal. Well, maybe this is where we can get creative and hide them. Maybe I do have bars of gold, but I'm hiding them. I didn't really think that through when I said Playful was going to be the front porch. Oh, Oh, the commemorative freeze ray. This one we probably should display proudly so people know not to come in and mess with us. Like maybe we got a commemorative freeze ray because we made a real freeze ray. Oh, I know. We'll just hide stuff by putting the big plant things around so you can't really see through there. It's actually fine. Perhaps I am making the most incriminating Sims build of all time. And the color for the playful mood is actually like this maroon magenta. Talk about sticking out like a sore thumb. This is kind of like the same color vibes, but is a little more muted. So here is our playful exterior of the build. I do think my Sim has just incriminated themselves. And our next room is going to be confident. Okay, you have to hear me out on this one. I was thinking the bathroom could kind of work for confident decor solely because of this item here, the monolith. The color for confident in the game is a very, very light blue kind of blue. I'm just going to get our like essential layout right now. It would be so weird, right? To just put a chair here for the sake of more confident decor. Can I make like a toilet with the chair? I don't think I can. We've got this portable galaxy light show that I'm going to put on top of the toilet cabinet with the nerves of steel desk lamp. Just a lot of lighting items going on because we also have the straight Bezolian's neon sign. Maybe I'll put it next to the mirror so every morning when you're brushing your teeth, you can remember the grind. And now for the monolith, what I wanted to do with this is really just use it as a divider for the shower. So I'm realizing now it kind of looks a little silly. You can see right through it. Not every idea is my best idea. I think we should be real about that. 
pops, but I am gonna use a wall shower here. I actually wonder if I could take a window and then just place a bunch of them on top of each other to create that frosted glass look. This is an item in itself. It can move off the grid. We can actually just do two of them. Now we have a frosted glass window instead of the giant hole. It's not really good, but it's something different. Unfortunately, this is the only swatch that the monolith comes in. You know me, I love the laundry basket on top of the laundry hamper. And we do have some more posters and art pieces. I know when I'm in the bathroom, I love to look at a photo of sitting with Quill administrative affairs. I do wish we could have gotten like a desk with the fancy computer and everything, but I think this is going to be it. I definitely have emotions when I look at this. Confident ones? Who knows? Okay, so we have two rooms left and our next room is going to be energized. So there's actually not a ton of energized decor. The color that is kind of associated with it when your sim is energized is like a very bright yellowy green. Oh, it's actually like exactly this. Given what we have, I think the best way to go about this to make sure we include all of our energized decor is a hallway table right here and then kind of like a gallery wall and our trophies and everything like that. But first, let me make sure that we get all of our entryway items, umbrella rack, our shoes, and a coat rack. Believe it or not, I did not add my favorite plant in my last build and it was pointed out to me. So I will be adding my favorite plant, the authority. And now I'm just gonna get all of our trophies and arrange them on this table. They're an MVP, they're an all-star. They've got the You've Got Talent Award, Off the Charts Music Award, and the Junior Solar System Trophy. Very talented. And I wonder since I have a little extra space here, the Rockmeister G 7000, we can add this guitar in here too. Maybe that's what they earned their music awards with. And this is called the Inspirational Mouse Poster, but for some reason it's not inspirational decor. So I guess I'm just going to arrange these kind of gallery wall style. And the only other thing of energizing decor is this Rock of Ages retro stereo. And just not sure if we're gonna swing it. I actually love the color on the wall. This is our energizing entryway. And so last but not least, we have uncomfortable. The only negative emotion. And I saved this one for the bedroom mainly because one of the most common ways for your sim to be uncomfortable, at least starting out, is having a really cheap bed. Also, literally one item in the game is stressful decor. Only one item in the entire game. Like these ones are all uncomfortable that will have gameplay effects if your sim uses them. This lamp is called stressful decor. The color for uncomfortable in the game is an orangey red. So I think maybe we'll go with this on the wall. Perhaps we'll do a more neutral bed swatch then. I kind of put the orange rug there as a joke, but it's kind of working for me. I think the vibe here is going to be using cheap rundown items just because that conveys the overall vibe. So we'll go with the door desk. Honestly, none of the dressers look like cheap bad. Some of them just look more worn out than others. So maybe we'll do that one. When we could do the like forgotten frames mirror, even though I hate mirrors facing the bed. Should I just make the room bad? Should I just make it literally not look good so that when you look at it, you feel uncomfortable? I missed it. This lamp is also stressful decor. Okay, so there are two items in the game with stressful decor. Do they just become stressed or uncomfortable? Oh, maybe they become tense. I'm not really sure what wall art to do. Maybe some vampires. That's bound to make you a little uncomfortable, right? Do I even add plants? Plants are supposed to, you know, bring the outside in, make you feel a little calmer. Oh, I think some unorganized documents are a little stressful. Maybe they're plotting and scheming their next crime. I don't know. Or plotting and scheming their getaway and they don't have much time and that's why everything's so disorganized. Oh, maybe since they are a criminal, they have even more stolen jewelry in here. Why is it kind of coming together with like the tarps on the windows, the disorganized desk area? Maybe we put a security camera right above the door because they're always watching and also that would make you really uncomfortable, right? So this is our uncomfortable slash stressful themed room. And that is actually going to be the end of the build. So if you made it this far, go ahead and comment nice try because the name of the security camera is the nice try security camera. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and always comment more video ideas so I know what you want to see next. I'm always playing The Sims live on Twitch, so come join us sometime. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!